going to do a nail art tutorial for this and this I showed you guys in my Singapore haul and I asked you if you want a tutorial and some of you guys asked for it but I had been putting it off for like a fall nail because I thought it would be perfect for a fall nail this nail art was actually just something that I did really quick that's why I didn't film a nail art tutorial for it but I wanted to try this nail polishes from OPI in collaboration with Maria Carey. Now I got this in May this year but I'm pretty sure it's from their Christmas collection last year so I don't know if you can still get it now but I'll put some links down below if I can find it somewhere and yeah I hope you guys like this nail art and maybe it can get you excited for the fall weather coming soon so let's get into the tutorial first taking my favorite ornament which is a beautiful light gold champagne color and apply it on all of your nails and you might need two or three coats to get it opaque. Next, plop Visions of Love, which is an oxblood color, onto a piece of paper and use a strapping brush. And you can just try to do a few strokes on the paper to make sure it will glide on nicely. And then make half moon manicure on your middle finger. Now you can start filling in around the edges of the half moon manicure that you just made. Will you pick me up? Can you pull me and then after you get about halfway through, you can just fill in the rest with nail polish brush just to make it quicker. And then for the pointer finger, just draw a line, not on the middle, just a little bit more to the side. And then fill in the bigger space with the oxblood color again. For the ring finger, I'm just gonna do some stripes. And like I've said in my previous videos, it's easier to create a crisp, straight line if you just kind of guide your brush by rotating your finger slightly. But since we used a glitter paste that have a rough surface here, it's kind of hard to make the brush glide on smoothly on it. So that's why I didn't make the line in just one stroke, but rather create half of the line from either side and then connect it in the middle. And I hope that makes sense. Now for the pinky, just create a line down in the middle and then fill in half of it. And then for the thumb, create a half moon manicure again and create another line parallel to the half moon manicure. And then just like before, I'm just gonna go from the right and then from the left and then just connect it in the middle because it's easier that way. And if you don't have a strapping brush, you can actually make all of this pattern without one. Just use scotch tape, which I've done in plenty of my videos. You can check out my leopard print nail art video to see how I make the half moon manicure and all of this stuff without a strapping brush. But if you do have a strapping brush, I think that this way is just a lot faster. Next. Taking I Snow You Love Me, just put out some of the round glitters on a piece of paper. And they are beautiful round glitters with holographic effect to them. So it almost kind of looks like rhinestones on your nails, but not as flashy. Which is why it's perfect if you're not a rhinestones kind of girl, but you still want some of the blinks on your nails. And other than that, it actually holds a lot longer on your nails than a rhinestone does. But anyway, basically with the round glitter, all you have to do is just place them along the line of the oxblood and the gold color with toothpick. So yeah, that's all for this nail art tutorial and I hope you guys like it. And if you recreate this nail art or any nail art on my channel, please send me the photo to my Instagram. It's at lilijun168. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to, you know, to get notified every time I upload a new video. Mm, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys excited for fall. So anyway, yeah, bye.